On today's video, we will be taking a good look at some of the dope tech that has been coming out in 2022, plus some tech that I personally really like too. But first, before we start, play tape. Hey guys, what's up? Emily Nadeke back again with another video. In this channel, we will be talking about from the latest tech to the latest tech and software announcements. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's have a chat first of all, shall we? So as you guys probably know, about two days ago, my Instagram account has been officially hacked by someone. Um, if you saw the post about me having $10,000 worth of crypto, that wasn't me first of all, that was a hacker. Uh, if you want to report that post, please do that ASAP, that would really help us. Thank you for that already. Uh, me and my team are doing everything we can to get our account back. But without further ado, let's jump in right into the video. Okay, so first let's talk about this. This is the GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones. So this extra cam is right now one of my favorite cameras. And let me tell you why exactly. Okay, so this camera is and comes really handy for FPV drones and let me tell you why. Okay, so this camera is 100 grams lighter than its previous brother, the Hero 10 itself. They took off the front and the back displays. They also took off the speaker and the mic too. So actually this drone is almost made for a FPV drone cam. And that is actually really cool. I mean, can you even imagine how cool it is putting a GoPro cam on the FPV drone? I mean, who doesn't love all those GoPro footage that we always see on social media? And also combining it to an FPV drone? I mean, how mind-blowing is that even, guys? But further, there is not much wrong with this GoPro, although the specs or the resolution are still the same than the Hero 10 itself. So I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10. Next up, we have this. This is the Steam Deck. So this console really and really looks like a Nintendo Switch. Actually, it might be a bigger version of the Nintendo Switch too. But this console only plays PC games, which is actually really cool. But the Steam Deck is also really, really, really expensive. I must say, I think the Steam Deck just killed the gaming laptops. I mean, having a gaming laptop on the go for playing games is cool and nice, but having the Steam Deck with me on the go, I mean, it's smaller, more compact, and it doesn't take a lot of space or weight too. So I think this almost killed the gaming laptops. It's really impressive. One downside about the Steam Deck is that you really have to get used to those controls. I mean, you are, I think, a PC gamer and you want, it, you want to buy a Steam Deck, you have one and then you want to play with it then you really need to get used to this Steam Deck control for playing a PC game so uh, yeah but further it looks awesome it is a really awesome console and I still can't wait to try it out so I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 next up we have might be the most weirdest and I think the coolest AirBuds ever created and that is the Sony Link Buds. So one of the reasons I really like this AirBuds so much is number one, this futuristic design. I mean, this is a design that you never seen or never have ever seen on AirBuds. And two, what this thing actually can do. Okay, here it comes. So if you wanna skip a track or go back to your previous song or press pause, then you have to tap on your own skin like, like this. It's really weird guys, I mean, how this technology is created, I still have my question marks on it and it is really cool and I really can't wait to try that out. Another cool feature about the Sony Link Buds is this silver ring, as you guys can see. So what this ring does is that you can hear all the sound and the noise that is all around you. But don't worry, the Sony Link Buds still has a noise cancelling feature, so don't worry about that. But further, the Sony Link Buds looks really great. Uh, it's a small, compact, and I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. But hey, speaking of sound and air buds, we also have this. This is the Bose Frames. So one of the coolest things about these sunglasses is that it has a built-in speaker inside and also a mic too. And I must say this really looks like a spyglass or like this 
Edith Glass. I'm getting some Avengers vibes of Tony vibes about this Edith Glass thing that, that you see on Avengers or on Spider-Man 2. So yeah, but further it looks really great. There are a few designs of these sunglasses too. I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10. Next up we have this. This is the Max Studio. So I've made a video about this thing before and I must say this still is one of the best PCs I have ever worked on and also I have ever seen. With the most powerful Apple Silicon chip inside and with such a small form factor, this PC is a truly monster. Think of Godzilla. Yeah, that one. I think every tech creator or developer seriously wants this on, on their hands and including me as well and it's really 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 expensive having the full advantage of this Mac Studio. So there you have it guys all the 2022 techs that I personally favoritely love and also one of the greatest tech announcements of this year. But yes guys that was it for this video hope you enjoyed this video also let me know in the comments what you think about those five tech announcements that, that I showed you and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on post notifications and share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.